and all these goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. Now, when he says flow away, like I said, you're going to get visual with some of these things, right? That's why it's always good to read the scriptures out loud because when you hear the words and you put the words out there, you put the vibration out there, you kind of see it, you kind of feel it. Right? When it says his, his riches is going to flow away, when his riches is flowing away, it, it's literally, you know, like, 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 uh, like it says, those ICBMs, when they come, they're going to they gonna melt, all, like it says in Second Peter the third. I don't know if I've written that down to, um, to go into. Right, we, yeah. I might as well jump to that. Uh, this is Second Peter, First Peter, 3 and 5. Guys, right, first Peter three and start at the um like they actually train on when you at the um Right, the tenth verse it says, But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. So you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to pinpoint exactly when the day of the Lord is gonna be. Like we say, that's why you gotta hasten the day. Right? That's why you gotta be patient, that's why you gotta fire and so on and so forth. Right? And it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Now all of these things is linking in together. Right? That's why the scripture says in Isaiah the twenty-eighth and the ninth verse that you're gonna go preach and perform priest. Now, it's just, if it says there's going to be a plague where you go, the flesh is going to consume away whilst you stand upon your feet, right? And it says in Job that he's going to flee from the iron weapon. And it's saying here, right, that the day of the Lord is going to be as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements will, shall melt with a fervent heat. You're going to be, you're going to be, you don't have to be intelligent to know that those, that's, that's those ICBMs. Right, like it says in, uh, uh, in Isaiah that these, these words going to go out forth, right? It ain't going to come back void, right? Now you see the, the, the a combination of the, of, 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 of the precepts and you put uh, uh, the, the, the visual side to the words then you see that this, 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 this is talking about the ultimate destruction of this kingdom by way of nuclear missiles, right? It says, um, And shall pass away with a great noise and the early men shall melt with a fervent heat. Right, the earth also and the works that are there really shall be burnt up. And this is the scriptures talking here. This is my, not my own opinion. The scripture is clearly saying because of the wickedness of these people done against you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? All, of the, all, 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 all the wickedness that they've done throughout the ages, all these different nations done against you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is gonna be the the, 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 um, the reward of that. This is what's that's this is what's gonna happen because of that. Right? And it says and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing that all things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons will ye ought to be in the whole holy conversation and goodliness? Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the most high. So you brothers out there, you're gonna be focused on this on this thing, man. And I know I pull that scripture out nearly once every two weeks. It must be, because I pull that scripture out all the time, but it, it gets you focused and reminds you what's coming. Right, it reminds you that word that the most I spoke of, and then he's speaking of of here that's not going to come back onto him void. It gets you focused because it says, Yeah, you're going to be looking for and hasting, which is what uh, uh, Nate's not doing, right? The 14th Israelite, like, he ain't doing that, right? Them people ain't hasting, they're looking for how, how they're going to prosper in this kingdom, of which you ain't looking for supposed to be prospering because the scripture here is saying, Right, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the most I. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. So he's saying you're supposed to be looking, looking to looking forward to that. But 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 but, but the way 14th Israel, he ain't, he ain't looking forward to that. We're looking forward to that. The men of GMS are looking forward to that because we know after that happens, right? Then the Mosai is going to set up the kingdom like he spoke of in uh, Daniel 2 and 44, right? Where with the Mosai clearly, eh, his word he ain't gonna he ain't gonna come back for it. So he says you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans going to inherit a kingdom that will never be destroyed, never be given into any other people's hands, right? You're going to keep it for yourselves, right? But you want you want to prosper in this kingdom? Those are contradictory statements of them, and it only, it only occurs for the man that's not focused on this thing, man, right? Which is why we say you, 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 you certain ones that you, you have to have sold that, because that's what you're pushing. What you're pushing is contrary to the scriptures. Right, when you're talking about 10 years in this kingdom, you, you ain't hasty, you ain't looking forward to the destruction of this kingdom like it says you're supposed to be. 
in the scriptures, right? It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, right? And the elements, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat, right? Um, what did Nevertheless, according to the promise, uh, look. Uh, look for a new heaven and the new earth. So that's what we look for. We're looking for the new heaven and the new earth. Right? And that's what the rest of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans should be looking for. Right? And hasting for that new heaven and that new earth. Right? Uh, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right? So you're looking for that righteousness to dwell. Because when we're dwelling in righteousness, right? Then, hey, we're going to receive all kinds of blessings. We're with the most high going to bless us with that new heart and that new, that, that, that new mind where we're. Uh, uh, we're going to be born programmed to follow in the 613 laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So you just can be born automatically getting blessings. Because when you follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, right, he said he's going to bless you for that. Right? And we saw a little bit of that when we was, you know, when we was on point. But the minute we went from the laws, statutes, and commandments, the Most High threw us in captivity. Right? It says, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And it says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that be, ye may be found in him in peace without spot and blameless, right? And we not, we don't know when he's coming, so you got to be on point now, right? So if he does come now, hey, you'll be all right. And if he comes tomorrow, if you're still on point, you'll be all right, all right? It says, it says also, you got to remember, this is not like a, it's not a sprint, right? You can't push the most side to do it fast. Hey, men have died holding this truth down, right? Men have gone old in this truth. Right, the elders are not just called the elders for no reason. They've they've grown, you know, quote unquote, not to be disrespectful. They've grown old in this trip. Right, not to be. I say that. I, I don't. I don't. I, I, don't, I say that with not the intentions of being trying. Um. Um. Not not being disrespectful. So so like. Right, but the point is that you don't you, you don't know when the most is gonna take this thing down. Right, a lot of people thought it was gonna be 2012. A lot of people thought it was gonna be 2000. Right. Point of the matter is you need to be prepared for the for the long marathon, man. Right? This is um This is um uh Isaiah twenty four and five. Right? It's Isaiah 24 and 5. It says, The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof, right? Because they have transgressed the law and changed the ordinance, right? Right? And what's the changing of the ordinance, right? The breaking of the, uh, uh, setting it up that, um, by law, setting it up by law that things contrary to the scriptures, you know, are, are, are lawful, right? That's the breaking of the ordinance, right? It says, Breaking the everlasting covenant, covenant, therefore have the curse devoured the earth. All right? And what's that principle curse that's coming? Same curse we've been talking about all day, those ICBMs, man. That's the principle curse. It says, they that dwell there, uh, they that dwell therein, right? Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt, right? And few men left, right? And the new wine, um, and I, I think I was going to miss that. I was going to jump that in it. Right, uh, let me go up to the sixth verse. It says, "Therefore the curse has devoured the earth, has devoured the earth, and they uh, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt up, and a few men left." Right, and that's one of those other things that the Most High is going to set up to happen. Right, and it really is happening now. But that word is not going to come back onto the Most High void. Right, so he said basically that. Uh, um, that there's gonna be few men left, and it's the same thing that se that it says in uh, as um, Second Ezra the 15th chapter, where with man's gonna to desire to see the face of another man because it's gonna be so sparsely populated, right? <sighs> and then um, we jump down a little bit.
to the tenth tonight. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, All right, it says this is the nineteenth verse, and it says the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is cream dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel uh, to and fro like a drunkard. So in that day, the most is gonna set up that the earth is gonna be. You know, all kind of missions is going to go up. Now, we're going to go to see where that's going to happen in Revelations, the 18th chapter. Right? But this is talking about the same thing. It says, the earth shall, um, is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is, is earth is moved exceedingly. Right? It shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall. Right, and shall not rise again. And what's, what's it talking about when it's talking about fall and not rise again? It's talking about the modern day Rome, it's talking about the modern day Egypt, right? It's talking about the modern day Babylon, right? And it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the, of, of, of the high ones that are on the high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Now, who are the modern day kings of the earth? The so called elite banking families, right? And all the um, all the different, different people linked. Um, Along those lines, which more, the majority of these people are just peons, man, right? But those high elite banking families, they're in the know. They know who we are. They know what we are about, right? They know that we, they, they're the left and we're the right, right? And that's why they suppress this truth, and that's why you're never going to see this truth on, on your TV, in magazines, on newspapers, right? Right up until the point where the multi says, right, it's going to go out to the masses, right? It says... And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in a pit and shall be burnt up in prison. And after many days they shall be visited. Right? The point was at the top where it says um, the earth shall rule to and fro. And pretty much with that, with that I can go to the, um, the meat of the... Uh, a lesson, so to speak. We're heading back to hate Samuel. Uh, this is Revelations, the 18th chapter. And the uh, second, uh, second verse. Uh, and it says, And I cried, my, uh, and, and it, Let's start from the first verse. It says, After this I saw another angel come down to, from heaven having great power. <coughs> and earth was lit in with his glory. Right? And he cried with, uh, with a mightily, uh, cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon. We know Babylon. You right there, sir? It says, and ba where are you from, sir? London. London. What country are you from originally? Uh, my parents, you mean? Yeah, West Indies, right? Yeah. You're a Benzemite. You know about the Bible? You read the Bible? I know about the Bible. Yeah? What do you, what do you, what do you think about the Bible? I think the Bible's true. Yeah, you think the Bible's true. What what, what color, who do you think the Lord is coming back to save? This is a, this is a throw it out there. Who do I come back to save? Yeah. Anyone who devotes to their life to them. Alright. Now, you've been in captivity for last thousand years so on and so forth only not uh, uh, captivity you believe in you're still in you captivity right now yeah of course all right everyone is all right yeah right by process of uh banking and loans and so on yeah. and so forth because mental, the debtor mental, 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 mental. Yeah. well really it goes deeper than that because every time you take out uh, uh every time you take out a loan you're in debt to the person that gave you the loan right that's true, that's true. right every time you take out a mortgage by by the scriptures you're in debt to the person that gave you that true. certain amount very of money true, very true. All right now the scripture says the Mosai is not coming to save everybody. You know that? Well, yeah, that's that because not everybody's committed. Not everybody's devoted. It was never about committed because when that, you're talking about commitment, right? The Mosai is principally only dealt with one people, one group of people, which is the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans to this day. The people known as Israel, right? Now, what's the proof of that, right? Who are the greatest singers? The greatest dancers and so on and so forth. I think that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Well, it is a matter of opinion, but when it comes down to it, it's Israel. Most I said his people are above all people in everything that they do. 
right? So we was according in accordance to the scriptures. So, 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 so how, how far are you taking it back? Are you taking it back? Um, are you taking it back? Um, New Testament or is it strictly Old Testament? Well, or the Lord said the Lord said He comes in the volume of the book, right? Well, 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 who do you class as Lord, though? The Lord was the same man that came on the earth a thousand years ago. Okay. Sorry, two thousand years ago. G give me a name. Right? Yes, you are. Yo, close, close, right? But it's not for me to give out that name. But that's close, right? Now that's not the full history because they, uh, 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 you wouldn't pronounce those words that way, right? right? You, would, you you pronounce it. Uh, 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 um, let me see if I got the, um, the the Hebrew alphabet with me. Yeah, I think you'll find it is Yeshua. It's not Yeshua. When you, when you, unless you read, unless you read fluent Hebrew. I believe you'll find it's not of, Yeshua. In, in terms of... In, 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 right? He, right? He, That's he the spoke, Yud, right? He would have spoke Aramaic, Aramaic, yes? No, he would have spoke the last one, Kadash. Right? The Lord said, in, uh, 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 he said he's going to turn his people onto a pure language. Now that pure language is the last one, Kadash, that you can see here. The Abad, Gada, Hawa, Za, Rataza, and so on and so forth. Right? Now when you're spelling, you, when, you, when you're spelling the name of the Lord, right, you would use those same consonants, sorry, those same letters, right? Right. Historically... Yeshua... Yeah. Right, is is um, if I remember it correctly, is 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 like the Aramaic form of the of the name. But is is your name the Ara is your name the translation of your name, or is your name the same as, as it is in English, for instance? Yeah, but I, I think it depends, depends on who's pronouncing my name. But it's gonna be the same name. If someone if someone out there they say my name is Peter, for instance, yeah. and I'm walking down the road and I've lived all my life being called Peter, right? And you call me Pete, I'm not necessarily gonna answer that. No, but it depends on, like I say, it depends on, you know. But hey, you, you, we're talking about the Lord here. Yeah, we are talking about nine the times Lord. Out of, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to answer to Pete. We're talking about the, 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 the power of powers. Is he going to answer to the translation of his name or is he going to answer to the, the original do believe, name? Do you not believe that if you really think in terms of God is a name, if you t if you turn it, I think in one of the Old Testament, they said his name was Emmanuel. So it, it, it's, it's, it's which means... Um, the Lord shall be with you. Right. With us. But what's, so, his, so what's, his, what's his principal name? Right. That's a good point. You so, saved that, right? So, so therefore, he would have had many names in terms. In, 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 right. 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 Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Right. You're talking about Matthew the first and the, uh, the, the first and twenty-one. That's Matthew one and twenty-one. Right. It says, "And she shall bring forth the son, and that's how I call his name, Jesus." Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is the Greek translation of his name. So it's going to be something else in the what? Hebrew. What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be something else in the Hebrew. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And why, why is the reason they called him Jesus? Do you remember why they called him Jesus? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, over the years, um, the, the, the language has changed. Well, I think it was, there is terms of. Um, it says here, him, they, they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. That's yeah. why he was called Jesus. That's why you got to know the name in the in the in the original tongue. Why? Because he came to save his people, and his people well, would have you, spoken I, I, the original I, I, tongue. I, well, I think he would have phoned. He he would have he, he was he did um, he was amongst. Yes, he was originally amongst the Jews, but he was also amongst um, Gentiles as well. If you find who, anyone, the, who were the Gentiles? Anyone who's not a Jew, a Jew. Right? Who is uh, right? So, so he came to okay, say, okay, oh, okay. You know about the six hundred and thirteen laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, right? Six hundred and thirteen. I, I don't regard those. No. Right. Okay. So how are you going to understand who the Gentiles are if you don't understand the law? No. At the end of the day, because. You, I class Jews as his people, and anyone who's not a Jew but is a Gentile. But the law describes the Gentile as a completely different thing. If you don't know the law, if you don't understand the Old Testament, if you don't understand these certain laws within within the scriptures, that mean that that who says who, who says a descendant those? a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, an Israelite, can be a Gentile by way of the law. Did you know that? No, I don't. That, that, well, that's your bit, but who said those extra laws were a part of the, the law of God? Who sold it? Who told the extra you laws? You said, he said he, the, Lord, the Lord said he comes in the volume of the book. You're talking about the Ten Commandments, right? Yes. Right? You know the Ten Commandments, right? You know what it is to love? You know what love is in accordance to the scriptures? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is in accordance to the scriptures? I'm asking you. I'm asking know, you. Look, what, what the meaning of what the word love is in accordance to the scriptures? Well, God said it. If you know not love, you know not God. So therefore, you no, no. To what know is love in accordance to the scriptures? What are you talking? What, 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 what right? Your, what, what's your take? Right on now, this is um, Second John one and six. And okay. Out, okay. Eight, right. Okay. The point is here. I'm not speaking about my own opinion. What I'm thinking. I'm going to answer you. Everything you're going to say, 
with the scriptures, right? Now this is no, love. no, but the easier opinion because it, um, scriptures. Look, I'll tell you this. this is right, Second John. Let me let me let me point by point, right? Okay, okay. okay now okay. we're gonna see what love is, and we're gonna see the the fact that the point I'm gonna prove here is that love is the whole law, right? Then we're gonna go to the next point just to keep order. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Now this is this is scripture speaking. In Second John one and six it says, and this is love. That we walk after his commandments. This is the commandments that you have heard from the beginning. What's the commandments we heard from the beginning? The 613 laws, statutes, commandments that Moses put forth in place. Right. right? Meaning to say, if my son is born a homosexual, I gotta kill him. Right? If 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 I see uh, uh, my, my my daughter my daughter eating eating pork, I gotta deal with that situation. Well, not necessarily because you, you you're talking about the per uh, you're talking you're talking about the person. Now Jesus basically came and he said you come to deal with the sin. The, the, the All right, okay, okay, the, that's, the a, good sin, point, that's a good point. Right, right, okay. Watch this. Right. Now get this. This ties it all up. Mm. Right. This ties up the fact that the Lord is coming back and he's still dealing with the law. But not only that, he ties up the fact up that he's not only dealing with the law, he's gonna be still dealing with the law. Now you know about the new covenant, right? Yes. Right. You know that covenant was only made with Israel? I don't believe so. Right, okay, let the, speak, let the scripture speak. This is Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews. This is Hebrews, the 8th chapter. Right, and the 8th verse, and it says, Right, for finding fault with them, he saith, The day is come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. With who? With the house of Israel. Right. right, do you know who the house of Israel oh, yeah, is? But no, we know, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, I do know that, obviously, the Jews, yeah? Right. But, 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 but you have to understand, when he came, he was amongst Jews, he said he had to deal with his people first, before... He said, he's saying here, he, he, you're adding to the scriptures, you know, when you add to the scriptures, no, I mean, how am I adding right, to the, the scriptures? Most size, how am I adding to the scriptures? What's he saying here? He says, for finding fault with them, for finding fault with who? No, but you... you, you but for finding anybody, fault but, with who? Yeah, no, but, you, but you're thinking, you're, you can't pick out one bit, you have to, in terms of... Well, but uh, didn't I show you in the different scriptures that first and foremost, do you know how you're supposed to read the scriptures? How am I supposed? How, what do you mean? How am I supposed to read the scriptures? The Bible tells you how you're supposed to read the Bible. Did you know that? Oh yeah, of course. I, I believe so. But obviously, how, but, are, you no, but, how are you supposed to read the Bible? How are you supposed to read the Bible? You tell me how you supposed to read the Bible. Uh, um, Isaiah 28 and 9 says the Bible is going to be read precept, perform precept. Now you know what a precept is. Yeah, right. All right. All right it's a preconceived idea, mm -hmm. for instance. So if it says Israel here, mm -hmm. right, I'm going to find somewhere else where it says Israel. Right? If, if the scripture says you ain't supposed to be, uh, a man's not supposed to be dealing with another man, right? I'm going to find yeah, it somewhere but, but, else. Hold on, hold on. Let me, put, let me, let me, let me make the point. You don't let me speak, though, to be honest. You don't let me speak, though. But, but you made a point. I'm going anyway. to rebuttal that with a scripture. But I didn't finish my point. point. I didn't finish my point. But I didn't finish my point. Right? But then, but then, but it, all right, I'll, fair enough, fair enough. Right? If you make a, if you make a chain, you got a chain. You're making a chain, right? And you put a bad link in there, right? The next thing you, the next link you're going to put, whether it's a good link or not, yeah. It's still based on a bad link. Right, correct. Right? If you make a point and it's an incorrect point and we build up upon an incorrect point, there's no point having but an argument. You say it's incorrect. I didn't say it's incorrect. No, you, the scriptures say it's an incorrect no, no, but point. Not, but, but, but if 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 you just say scripture, we wouldn't have so many denominations no, because it, no, it depends on the Okay, it's fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Right? And that's another and that, that's another point, right? You know the most side doesn't deal with these different different the denominations. The most side deals with the the, the, the scriptures. The Mosai yeah. is not dealing with these different churches. Yeah, but, 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 but that's a matter of opinion because you, you, you can't, because you have that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Right, right. The, so if the Mosai is dealing with these different churches, mm -hmm. right? Why do I find that the people in these different churches don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Mosai? You can't speak for everyone. You don't. You, 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 you know, the church as a building. Yeah, but you don't know. But you, now you you're being simple. Person. Now you, you're being simple. No, no, we no, we no. both know. We Can both you, know. I, I, we both I, I, know. There is no church here. That well, upholds, no, but, upholds the laws and statutes right. commandments no, 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 of the Mosai. What, what is the church? The church is the people. You and I are right, 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 how you can't you can't read a person and tell them they're right or they're wrong or they're religious or they're not well, the religious the scripture or they're says, following or they're not following. You can That's not something you can read. That's nothing you and I can say. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That, you, you, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm that, answer that in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. I'm answer that in the scriptures. Right. This is um, Romans. Uh. Right, 
This is Romans 21. It says, My, bre my brethren, my heart's desire and, and prayer to, to the God of Israel is that they might be saved. This is Paul speaking. Now, his whole desire, his whole being, and what he's all about is that he's, he might, the, 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 that Israel might be saved. Yeah. Right? Negroes, okay. Hispanics, Native Americans, all Israel dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. Right? For I bear them record that they have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Now, what's a zeal for the Most High? Do you know what that is? Oh, yeah. Let me hear you. A zeal, if I have a zeal for sport, I'm going to be about sport, innit? I guess so. Right? If I have a zeal for God, then I'm going to be in the church. Haven't I? I guess so. Right, okay. Alright? Now let me jump to... Um... <coughs> but, you, but you know in Revelations, when John talked about the seven churches, he, 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 uh, when, sorry, um, Paul talked about the seven churches, well, obviously Revelations, and he was talking about he also talked about their faults, but he also, Jesus also talked about his love for every one of them, even though they had faults. Do you know who those seven churches were? Um, yes, I do. I, I can't. Put, I know. A program, I'm not. You don't have to remember. You don't have to remember the name. I'm just saying. Do you know what those churches were? Do you know what they represented? Do you know what they are? Those 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 churches that he was talking about. Those were those were uh, uh, followers of Christ. The, the actual people that followed Christ. Upheld the law, statutes, and commandments. That's not talking about your church. No, 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 no. Church, but, saying, but, they, but they didn't uphold. They didn't uphold. That's what right. That's what I'm saying. That's so what I'm saying. So, so he had the different layers going out to those different levels. You gotta, you're basically saying you got to put your act together, otherwise I'm gonna do away with you. So, so therefore, so yeah, he had love for them, but they did not always uphold the law. But then, what's love in accordance to the scriptures? I just read it. Well, the, well this, is, this is what I'm saying. What is love? It, it, love is basically the scriptures. The scriptures just said that the love is the fulfilling the of the law. But, but Jesus also said, "None is perfect. No one." So you can let yeah, completely yeah, uphold yeah, the friend, law. Friend, can you? Friend, 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 friend. And that's so where you can yeah, 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 nobody said law. that. Nobody so said that. Nobody said that. No, nobody said that. You did say but you said don't, uphold the law. Yeah, but you said what you said, and the point I was proving is that you're dismissive of the law. You can't keep no, the law. No, no, there was no, only no, one no, person no, no, that no. kept the law of such commandments perfectly, and that was the Lord, right? No, no, but he, is that right or wrong? What? Only one person upheld the law perfectly, and that was the Lord, right? Uphold the law in so many ways. Yes, yes, I believe. No, no, no. The Lord was perfect in the law. Yeah, he was perfect, obviously. Right? Yeah, he obviously. Now, was didn't didn't Paul say, as touching the law, I'm as a Pharisee? Sorry, it, Paul. Yeah. Didn't he say? Uh, uh, didn't he say? Uh, um, I believe in. Um, um, he also said, I find the, thing, the things I'm supposed to do, I don't do, and the things I'm supposed to do, I shouldn't do. No, he no, didn't no. Also did, 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 didn't Paul did say, as did touching the Lord? I'm not he, saying he didn't. Right, I'm not did saying he also have a fall in his flesh? That, that obviously, with the most I said, the most I the most I said, where he found strength. So, therefore, you know, he was not, he was not perfect. Yeah, but then that's so not the point. That's the point is, you're supposed to uphold the Lord's such commandments, are you not? Yeah, yes, of course you are. Of right. course you are. But, but you're, you're, you're picking on you're picking on the pack, you're picking on the fact that you're playing on the mercy. I'm not right? playing on the mercy. Right? I'm just saying. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. The point I was making that. Yeah, yeah. Right? You gotta keep the law, yes or no? You have to keep the law. Right, no, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Understanding that you have to keep the law doesn't that mean to say you can establish who are the different things and who are the Gentiles and so on and so forth in according to the scriptures. Yes, but it also the Bible says right. No, no, no. The Bible, the Bible also says um, Jews are just as guilty as Gentiles. Right. And who are the Gentiles? The people who are not Jews. Right. Who is not a Jew? Well, would you say that the ten tribes? Would you say? Would you say? Would you say? Would you say the ten tribes that went over into the new world are, 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 are non-Jews? Do you know where the word Jew comes from? From the word Judea, right? It comes from the word Judea, so it means uh, right. And who, what does the word Judea come from? Do you know that? Well, yeah, I, I know that. But I want to hear you, what your what your term. No, no, you, you, that's a question. You, you, I, you, I don't know it. You don't know it, right? Uh, it comes from the Hebrew word Yahweh, though. Right. Okay. Right. As one of the sons, of, um, one of the sons of Israel, mm -hmm. right? Now, this is where you're gonna get into the history, right? right? And this is where you're gonna get into the laws. Now we know that Judah, yeah. right, was the principal uh, uh, king. So to speak, not Judah himself, but the Ju Judea, yeah. right, was the principal uh, 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 of the southern kingdom, right. right? You know that Israel was divided into dip two different kingdoms, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Now those two, uh, um, what happened was those, that those um, two kingdoms, the southern and the northern, the southern constituted the twelve tribes of Israel. Uh, no, not the twelve, sorry, the ten tribes: Reuben, Gad, and so on and so forth down the line. Now the northern kingdom was just two kingdoms, right? That being uh, 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 Benjamin and Judah. That's why it's called Judea. That's why they were known as Jews, because they upheld the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, and they did away with the ten tribes. Why? Because those ten tribes weren't following the law. 
right after the, after the reign of uh, uh, King Solomon, you had Ro, uh, Jeroboam and Roboam ruling the two different kingdoms, right? Where with uh, um, the southern kingdom said they weren't de dealing with the law, they kicked out all the Levites, right? And that's why they were known as uh, uh, Gentiles because they weren't dealing with the law, and that's why the Jews said to hell with them. They didn't want to deal with us. They they kept away our king, right? Set their own king up, and they dealt us the heat, right? Not only that, you had uh, um, you had uh, the different rulers that came into play. The um, for instance, Antiochus. When Antiochus came into play, you know about Antiochus? I don't know, right? He was a uh, 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 um, he was a uh, um, a, what you know a uh, a uh, 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 a Greek, so to speak, or a Greek a Greek. If I remember my history correctly, yeah. when he came into power, in accordance to uh, Maccabees, he said he basically said, when he took over that particular group of people, he basically said, "You're not dealing with the law no more, right? Yeah. You're dealing with like, what I put." And he put he put he put pork in the in the church. Right. So who, who do you class as a Jew? Right. I'm, I'm giving you the history. Let me get to it. Right. I'm giving you the history. So when he when he did that, there was there was different people that followed him, and there was different people that didn't follow him amongst twelve tribes of Israel. Right. The people that didn't follow him. Well, uh, after a certain point of time, they had they they, uh, uh, they were um, had the opportunity to go back, build a king, uh, build build up the the temple, right, and uphold the law, statutes, and commandments, and so on and so forth, right. Those were th they called themselves Jews, and they didn't class those other people as Jews. They called them Gentiles. Why? Because they didn't want to deal with the law. That's about who right? do you class so as a Jew? A, a, a Jew, right, is a descendant of Judah, but not only is, that's a Jew. That's right. what a Jew is. Right. An Israelite is a descendant of Israel. Right. Right. Okay. The Mosai is not just dealing with Jews. Right. He's dealing with he's dealing with the whole of Israel. That's why he said, "I didn't just come for the Jews, right? I came for the I came for all of his people." That's why he says yeah, Jesus. I, That's why he calls him Savior, right? As in to save them from their everybody. From the, from, no, as in to save all of Israel from their iniquity. So you don't believe he's saving everybody? Yeah. How, how, how can you save? If I gave everyone a dollar, is everyone richer? No, 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 no. Answer the point. Answer the point. Understand the point. Understand the point. Understand the point. If I give everyone a dollar, is everyone richer? No, no, obviously because they, understand because why said, not they're richer. Because you said that you, you, you said uh, you said that for once you said that you gave a pound and a pound has no value generally. Okay, fair enough. If so I give everyone an ounce of gold, is everyone richer? Richer in terms of yeah, obviously, obviously they've, they've got more. Can't than, be. They've, they've got more. They've got more than what can't be had. because they've, the same social differences are still in play. Right, but they've got. They've, they've so got if more. I save everyone, has everyone been saved? If I say everyone is special, is, is anyone special? How do you, no, but if I say everyone is special, is anyone special? It's a simple question. It's a simple principle to no, understand. But it's not a yes or no answer. If I say, if I say, if I got ten kids, I yeah. say all of my kids is special. Does that mean I said one? Does that mean to say all of my kids is special? No, they go on the same level. If I say one person is special amongst ten, that person is special, right? It's a simple principle no, to understand. No, 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 because, if because, you no, save because, everybody, how can you, you save everyone? You, you can't say you're that. saying you're, you're, you're basically uplifting them is to the same standard, right? You, you can't say that though, because that doesn't that doesn't make sense. The reason is simple is that just because you say because just say me and you are not gods, me you you to say someone special that that that's just how you see a person. That doesn't make them look. If I say you, if I say that guy's stupid, but well, that doesn't make he's stupid. That's just my opinion on him. Right, right, right. Right now, him. let me let me make, let me break down. Let me break down what you're rising off of. Right, this is uh, you, you're you're going by uh, John three sixteen, isn't it? No, 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 no. Right, let's go into it. Right, it's John three sixteen. For God so loved the world. Right. Right. Do you know what the world no, no, world no, no, is no, in there? No, no, but do you know, do you know no, what the world? Uh, well, let me come back to this that point. Yeah. Let me come back to this point. Did Jesus not say, yeah, that? Hell was not made for mankind, is it? Do you know what hell is in the scriptures? Yeah, it's a place that ever, where you burn for ever. Right, so you night. actually believe there's a place where the Most High is going to unjustly put you for there for an un no, what, unknown why? amount no, no, of time. No, no, unjustly. God doesn't do anything unjustly. God does not. No, unjust. no, no. But if you if you suffer an eternity, isn't that unjust? No, that's not unjust. No. Right, that's 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 bugged out. The most like there, there is there is there is there, how, how there is no, do you know what the hell the hell in accordance to the scripture first and unjust? foremost you're gonna know you're gonna this so, is why I said you're gonna get into the history I right the history, history tells you history tells you yeah. what hell is why do you say it's unjust right first and foremost a person is gonna serve a punishment for a certain amount of time now Israel is gonna have a, all the different nations in captivity oh, for a certain question. amount why of time why do you say it was unjust right let me I'm answering it mm -hmm. Right, Israel's gonna have the, the, uh, these different nations in, in, in captivity for a certain amount of time. Do you know what the amount of time is? Look, I, I've told hardcore you, I, slavery. Hardcore. Do you know how many? How much? How, 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 how amount of time is? 
Well, it's 1,000 years. No, 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 but you said hardcore slavery. What right? Is you, we, we just said slavery, there's two types of slavery. The no, 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 no. I'm mind, talking about in the future. No, I'm talking slavery. about in the future. So I'm talking about future. Slavery, I'm, I'm, so I'm going by pursuing to Revelations the 2 and, tw two and 25. No, but that's your right? opinion. If that's your opinion. That's how you would interpret it. That's how you interpret it. It doesn't mean it's fact. That's how you interpret it. How I interpret it is completely how different you interpret it. I'm not going right. to say that you're Do you know, wrong, do you know what the most I said? Do, do you know, there is no interpretation of the scriptures. There is rape. This is just reading. That's what, that's what Paul said. Do you know well, that? No, it's not just reading because not any, not any, right, man, okay. not any man can this read is, the Bible. This is Revelation 2 and 25. Not any man can read the Bible. It, the Bible has to be, it has to be revealed this by the most high. This is Revelation 2 and 25. Right, okay, fair enough, fair enough. This is Revelation no, is 2 and 25. No, well, enough. the most high is going to open up your mind to understand the scriptures. So therefore, therefore, right, but did he open everyone's mind up? No, because not everybody wants to. Not everybody wants to be open, right? Didn't 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 did did didn't who King David right? Didn't there. King David, in calling to that point, didn't King David say, "Let their play table become a snare"? Yes, but yes. Let their ears become fat. Do you know what that means? Well, they were, they were, they were, they were, people were becoming <laughs> people were becoming ignorant. But, and why were people becoming ignorant? Because obviously, no. We, 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 he we, was we, saying we, he was saying people become ignorant, but not only that, we don't deal with that no more. The most King David basically said, "You." you, you let that table become a snap, right? Basically, but let that David table become thoughts. a trap. He had, he had, he had, he had That's not the point I'm making. Right? That's not the point. You no, can't no, jump no, on you one. You can't jump. You can't, you can't jump on one point and then you, one point's you not finished. That's had, this, that's no, disorder. No, no, saying, he, he, he had fools in himself. So, so therefore, you cannot say how many wives did he? How many wives did he have? Was not King David a man after the Lord's heart? Yes. Did yes, not King yes, David yes, receive yes, mercy? Yes, yes, he did. So he what, did, what are you he talking did, about? He did. He did. But, there's, but you don't know who's after whose heart. So you can, how can you say who's after whose heart if you can't read hearts yourselves? That's not the point I'm making. You and I can't but, read but hearts. But didn't the scripture so say, didn't, say, didn't, didn't the scripture say, heart? doesn't, does yeah. not the scripture say, right, uh, 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 the spirit bear witness that we're children of God. Does not the scripture say that? Say sorry? Does, does not the scripture say, my spirit bear witness that with, uh, with the scriptures, uh, if I remember correctly, the spirit bears witness with my spirit that I'm a child of God. Does not the scripture say that? The, the, the scripture says, says my, my heart is weak, but the, fle the flesh is weak. Does not the scripture say, but the spirit bears with my spirit, yeah. right, that I'm a child, that I'm a child of God. Does not the scripture, does not Paul say that? Yes, and you also said, right? No, 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 no. Things that I should Did be doing, I'm not man, doing. Man, we can't get anywhere. We can't get anywhere. Right? But you're, you're saying you're, you're dictating you're your saying, conversation. You're, you're hey, it's my show. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Not but my I'm show. This is the law show. This is the law show. Not to not to make it all. It's not about me. This is the law show. This is like what the scriptures are. Well, the, the scripture says the spirit bear witness with my spirit that I'm a child of God. That means to say you can tell spirit who, who's, who's who's got the truth or not. Because you're gonna see they're gonna have a certain spirit about them. Well, well, pick, pick me out who's got the spirit here. Look, look at someone in the spirit. Hey, if you want, you want, if you want, if you want to know, there ain't nobody got no spirit. Hey, you can just look at someone like that and just look around and just. Well, how you, how, how, how are you gonna be? Are you gonna be able to determine who's, who's off the electric? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about your words. You said you can just look at someone. Yeah, you can do. 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 And who hasn't? No, you're just being silly, but I'm not. You're being no, silly, no, but you can do. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm saying. Look around. Ask who has the spirit. Well, hey, I, I put it to you like this. If you go in the park, yeah, right. There's four different sports being played. Yeah. Right? Can you tell who's playing football? It's this. I'm sorry? It's four sports being played. One of them is football, one of them is basketball, tennis, and cricket. Can you tell who's playing what sport? Depends on how close you are, I guess. Now you're being silly.